To get your laser cutter to cut out PostScript files, you're going to need a PostScript file that Don Lancaster made that takes a PostScript file, inserts it in it, and converts it into compass directions. Once you have that file, which I'll upload to my Instructable, you're going to want to get Inkscape, because Inkscape is the best program that i found that saves clean PostScript. If you send it crappy PostScript from Illustrator, it won't give you good results, or will not work at all. So once you create your drawing in Inkscape, you're going to save it as a PostScript file, view it in a text browser, like, you know, um, Notepad or WordPad, copy it all, and insert it where it says insert text here in the Don Lancaster PostScript file by also opening the Don Lancaster PostScript file in WordPad or Notepad or equivalent. Paste it where it says you're going to see comments and it says your PostScript file starts, your PostScript file ends. Paste it in there, save it, and then download GhostScript. It's available for Mac and PC. And then you're going to drag your file from uh, wherever it is to your PostScript application, your GhostScript application, and press enter. It will create a file for you, maybe uh, called demo003.txt or whatever you call it in the Don Lancaster PostScript file, and that's going to have your compass directions. Use an old computer for this. Don't fry your new computer, and also it works a lot easier if you use Word Windows 95 because Windows XP, NT, and such have protections against using the parallel port. You touched my parallel port! Download FCPP4 because the newer version is harder to use. Um, once you've downloaded FCPP4, get my sliceme-dice-me.c, which is a C file, and open it up. Once you open it up, you're going to change the one parameter. That's it. You're going to change the name of the file. It's going to be midway down. Um, it's going to say insert your file name here and you're going to include the entire path so c colon slash slash your file name dot txt it's okay if it's txt don't worry and then you're going to press control f10 and it's going to run a ms dos program you probably haven't seen one of those in a long time but you're going to run that and uh, after after it asks for your prompt, it's going to start sending serial data out. So you make sure your uh, stepper motors are plugged in to a 12 volts adapter, and that your laser is also plugged in to a 3 volt adapter. Don't go above 3.5. If you go above 3.5, your laser is fried. So once you have the laser plugged in, don't turn it on yet. Turn on your stepper motors. Run the code. Press enter at the prompt. Insert a key and press enter at the prompt and uh, watch it cut paper. Put a black piece of paper underneath it and let it rip. I hope you had a good time.